welcome to subramani one question which uh, many people have been asking is how do i remain calm uh, or how did i remain calm in say march 2020 uh there are various explanations to it but here is an attempted summary so first of all uh, not having any leverage helps if i have had uh, leverage if i had to sell shares to repay the loan i would have sold in march 2020 i had no choice i didn't know how long the uh, chinese virus would last and how much time it would take for recovery with so much of uncertainty you don't know and uh, my main income uh, or my major income used to be by giving lectures i knew that would go down i didn't know when that would revive so with all these uncertainties and leverage i would have sold there is no doubt about that so not having leverage helps a lot second in the very strong belief that this too shall pass because uh, i think uh, indira gandhi's death gave a uh, the, the market of course panicked a little bit uh, because the rumors were right since morning they were saying that indira is dead but only in the evening the government decided to announce it but people the, you know how the market is market always gets the information from some grapevine and the market was reacting to it and the markets were coming down it was a great time to be buying and one great uh, indian investor who is no longer there uh, he actually said it's a good time to be buying something don't try to name him it's not rakesh uh, rakesh was still doing uh, articles rakesh was not or maybe he was just doing bcom he was not even doing articles so that is not rakesh it is somebody else and he was actually buying he said yeah something bad but i think the country will go on so this too shall pass is something which you should remember very very well third for me it is a very low burn rate right so how does a small company survive during bad times when your burn rate is very small when you are not spending much you are earning 100 rupees and you are uh, saving 95 of it or 90 of it so your burn rate is only 10 every year you are earning next 10 years uh, uh, expenses so when you have that kind of a very low burn rate it is possible that you don't worry that oh my 100 will go to 50 it doesn't matter even if my income fell 50% i could still live because my expenses were very low what i would call typically in business parlance a very low burn rate uh um, then at least during covid times i realized that i could not go to the gym i could not go for a run you remember there was a, a ban on walking on the road so you couldn't go for a walk you couldn't go for a run you couldn't join a gym you couldn't do anything so some kind of a workout at home body weight workout it's possible because you need to do something other than looking at your investment so not needing to check the investments on a daily basis i must thank uh, Uh, Lata Kishore Rafi etc who came to my house every day on my laptop and they were singing and the, all the actors for dancing uh, that took away a lot of my time then we formed a school whatsapp group which would meet every sunday make no mistake every sunday evening 7 o'clock was reserved for it and that is a place where we could let our hair down whatever is left of it and uh, we could have fun we could talk about everything under the sun similarly some friends uh, uh, whether they were in us or europe or dubai didn't really matter they would all come join in and we would start at 7 and end at 11 some people would come in at 8 some people would uh, come in at 10 didn't really matter so it was a big 20 30 people group uh it was all boys group uh, there were no women allowed in it so you know the language the uh, amount of alcohol that was getting consumed during we would call that a bar session uh, but it was a school bar session right but all uh, old people uh, who could call each other boys so that was one thing that was uh, rejuvenating so uh, when you did that on a sunday then that took you on till monday tuesday wednesday then something else would happen uh, i knew one thing that my income from lectures would go to zero but i thought it would go to zero for 6 months in fact it's gone to zero for 2 years maybe 3 years uh that's the kind of impact that it had on my income but it didn't matter because i had my dividend income 
and uh, I knew that and the shares recovered much faster than I thought it would. I did not expect that September 2020 would see all time highs. So, the my patience was also tested for a very short period of time. If it was tested for 3 years, I do not know what would have happened. So, in March 2020, when I saw businesses, uh, I saw businesses at extremely low valuation. I think Sun Pharma was 300 plus, uh, EID Parry was 100 or uh, I do not remember or uh, even lesser. I, I am not very sure now. Uh, so, some of these shares to me were very, very attractive. Now, I think what happens is when you share buy shares hoping to sell at a higher price, then you look at it and say, oh my God, uh, will somebody else ever buy it, right? So, that is the biggest worry. Uh, like what Buffett says, uh, if the share market were to be closed for the next 10 years, would it bother you? Uh, for me, uh, being a value investor or whatever it means, uh, I was looking at dividends and saying, wow, this company is available at a dividend yield of 10 percent, this company is available at a dividend yield of 12 percent. So, these are definitely attractive uh, numbers to buy. And one more thing is, as a value investor, many students are slaves of numbers. They say, oh, it has to come to this PE at for me to buy this price to book value. I am not so particular. I, in fact, prefer the Charlie Munger or the Buffett theory that uh, to know a person is uh, fat, you do not need to know his exact weight, right? Uh, so, whether it is 108 or 122, it does not really matter. You know the person is overweight. So, at some price, you know the share cannot be a bad buy. A Sun Pharma cannot be a bad buy at 300, EID uh, Parry cannot be a bad buy at 100, right? So, many of these shares were available at some ridiculously low price and it did not require a PhD in finance to know, especially if you believe that this too shall pass that the prices will come back. Another important thing is when you see the residual value, then you are worried whether somebody will ever buy it from you at 200, right? If I buy EID Perry at 100, I would be worried whether somebody will buy it from me at 200. But as long as I know that uh, Coromandel International will sell fertilizer and pay dividend, EID Perry will continue to pay dividend. To me, it did not require too much brain. So, I think this is what Buffett says is when you buy a company for the business and not just for the share price. When you buy it for the share price, you are saying, okay, I am buying at 100, can I sell it at 200? When you buy it as a business, you are saying, the business is more attractive at 100 than it was at 300. So, you buy. So, you buy the Sun Pharma at 300 knowing that you will be able to sell it at 500. You may not be able to sell it at 1200, the previous high. And I actually sold at 500, 600, those are prices at which I got out simply because I believed I have been buying them for this appreciation. It is not disturbing my core portfolio. So, therefore, I have to sell this out, right? So, a lot of it I sold, some of it I kept, but uh, yes, a lot of it I sold also because saying I was doing this transaction only because of COVID. Here I was reasonably well invested and I was also very lucky that in January, February, I thought the market was high and I had sold. I was sitting on some cash also in March. That was a coincidence. I did not know that uh, COVID is going to come and I am going to get an opportunity. I said market is high. In, this, in fact, I do not look at markets at all. I look at my particular share and I thought this share is high, so let me sell. So, some of that money was also available. So, it is not always that uh, when the markets are down that money will be available. So, some money was available for me to invest and this uh, the low burn rate also helped because you knew that the excess could always get invested. Another thing which I did was I uh, uh, I reduced all my SIPs because I knew the training income was not coming in. So, if I had a 35,000 rupee SIP, I just made it 3,500 so that I would know and remember which were the ones which I had shut down. So, for me that was important. Uh, and so, those things uh, 10,000 became 1,000, 35,000 became 3,500, 18,000 became 1,800, right. So, and all were in uh, funds which were not very well heard of, right? So, natural resources, world gold fund, uh, healthcare, not really very popular schemes. So, I put money in all those schemes and I said, when time uh, uh, improves, uh, as time improves, these shares will do well, right? Uh, I also suddenly decided that I will look at the worth of my companies again and uh, none of those companies I thought were worthless. I never thought Sun Pharma would sell at 300, I would not uh, and I was looking at the business and these are companies which I have been holding for a very long period of time. So, to, for me to add more 
or to sell at 1200 is never a problem because I can always add a 300 and one day I know I'm going to sell a part of it. I'm not going to sell everything. Recently, Cholamandalam issued uh, came out with not so great results. So I put it at high prices. I got rid of it. So if I have 30,000 shares and I sell off 300, 400, doesn't really excite me, doesn't really bother me. But yes, that 400 into 1200, that kind of money is available for me to invest, right? So similar things happen. So and if I if you're looking at a business, then when the market goes down, you feel like buying more. If you're looking to sell to somebody else, if you're looking for a greater fool who will buy it, uh, share market price falling uh, creates panic. For me, it can't create panic. That was very clear. So here were companies with good balance sheets, good management, uh, the ability to sit tight. Uh, the good dividends and my dividend income I knew would take care of my expenses. I had emergency funds available. Uh, so it does not. So all these things put together help me sit uh, calmly during uh, a very zen like sitting uh, during March 2020. Also understand I have been investing since 1979 when I was in class 12. Maybe 50 shares of in Suzuki or that is what I would have started life with. But having seen this, you know that when things go wrong, it's a great time to be buying and sitting tight. If you can't buy, that's fine, but at least sit tight. Don't sell in a distress. That's a very important thing. So I keep saying this. If you made the mistake of buying high, let's say February 2020 markets were very high and you bought. Now, don't make the mistake of selling in March 2020 when you're hit by the Chinese COVID and sell in panic that's the worst thing you can do buying at a high and selling at a low is the worst thing you can do so if you can't invest at least sit tight i hope this helps thank you